This is lesson 8.3, quadratic functions in standard form. Our essential question is how is the standard form of a quadratic function different from the vertex form? So you can see up here, this is standard form of a quadratic. So instead of our a, h, and k that we saw in vertex form, it's f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The a value does the same thing in both standard form and vertex form. So it tells us if it opens up or down, um, tells us if it's wide or narrow. And so this first example is investigating what is the c in ax squared plus bx plus c going to tell us. So you can see here, um, there's a couple different pictures. So this, this first one right here, we notice that c is equal to zero. And we can see that our graph hits the y-axis at zero. Whereas this right here, looks like my graph got cut off. <laughs> But this right here has a C value of negative 2, and it would hit our Y axis at negative 2. Where over here, again, this is our C value of 0, and it goes through the origin. And then this one has a C value of positive 2, and you can see that it hits the Y axis at 2. So C tells us our Y intercept. So the standard form of a quadratic function is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So where vertex form allowed us to find the vertex, it's kind of in the name, um, standard form allows us to see what the y-intercept is, our c value, but it's a little bit more work involved to find the vertex. So first of all, to find the axis of symmetry, you're going to use the equation x equals negative b over 2a. And that is also the x-coordinate of the vertex. So to find the vertex, you would do your negative b over 2a to find the x-coordinate, and then you would plug that in to your function. So find f of negative b over 2a to find your y-value. And we're going to practice that so you can see what that looks like. Okay. So first of all, we are going to practice graphing. Um, so the first thing is to find the axis of symmetry. So we're going to use that equation that we just talked about. So x equals negative b over 2a. So I'm going to label my a, b, and c in my standard form. So negative 4 over 2 times 2. So I plugged in the b value for 4 is b and a is 2. So this would be negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. So I'm going to go to negative 1 on my graph and just kind of draw a dotted line so that I know that that's going to be my axis of symmetry. In fact, I'm not going to use a dotted line because we use that in some of our other functions. So I'm just going to take a highlighter and highlight that axis of symmetry so we have it there. Okay, next we need to find the vertex. So this is what I mean. We know that the axis of symmetry is negative 1. So now we just need to find, so we know our x coordinates negative 1. We need to find our y coordinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug negative 1 into our function. So it's going to be 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 3 and we can type that into a calculator or we can calculate it in our head and we get one. So that's our y value. So I'm gonna go to the point negative one, one and plot my, so I've done that first one, I've done the second one, plot the vertex. Step three now says to plot the y-intercept and its reflection. So if I go back up to the equation, my y-intercept is at three and then I can also plot its reflection because I know that I have my axis of symmetry right there. Okay, so we did that. And then it says to plot another point in its reflection. So if I pick, let's pick one to plug in. 
So if I plug in the point 1, I get 9 out. So 1, 9 would be another point, and so then its reflection would be negative 3, 9. And then my last step is to graph the parabola. So connect those dots, and there we go. So that's how we graph in standard form. So finally, we have a real life situation here, and it's analyzing the different types of functions we've talked about. So vertex form and standard form. So it says Mia tosses a ball to her dog. The function f of x equals negative 0.5 x minus 2 squared plus 8 represents the ball's path. What does the vertex form of the function tell you? So we can we know that the maximum height of the ball is at 2, 8, and I get that from the vertex. We also can tell that it's a parabola that opens down. And I can tell that because of the negative out front. I can also tell that it's wider than our parent function because of the 0.5. Now, we have to do a little work to put this in standard form, but let's practice that. So x minus 2 squared, I can write as x minus 2 times x minus 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is FOIL the x minus 2 times x minus 2. I get x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 plus 8. If I can fit that in there. Maybe not. Okay. So then I'm going to combine like terms. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now I can fit the plus 8. Then I'm going to distribute. So point, negative 0.5x squared plus 2x minus 2 plus 8. And so finally I have f of x equals negative 0.5x squared plus 2x plus 6. So the main difference about what I can determine from my standard form is that the ball started at a height of 6 feet. And you can see that in our picture up here. So you can see that the maximum is at 2, 8. And you can see that the ball starts, her hand starts right there at 6 feet. So this just illustrates how we can find different things when a quadratic is in different forms.